Hello all. Welcome to the pen testing challenges section at Pen Tester Academy. Now in this video, we will look at the command injection ISO which we've created and how to install and get started with it. So what is the command injection vulnerable ISO? So we have discussed command injection vulnerabilities in web applications and how you can get a web to shell from it. Now, some of those examples were concocted using sample code, which we created. Now, of course, one needs to also get a sample of how real world applications, which are out there, also have command injection vulnerabilities, which can be exploited. Now, this is where we've created the command injection vulnerable ISO which has 10 applications in it uh, with command injection vulnerabilities which you would need to exploit. So one of them is Basilic. Then we have PHP Charts, Ajax Explorer, Lotus CMS, PHP Tax, Log1 CMS, Sugar CRM Community Edition, Webmin, and Splunk. So let's quickly look at how to install this. Now, after that, of course, you have Zen OS Core. Now to download this, you can go to the SourceForge page and download the ISO from this link. It's also given below the video. Now let's look at the actual installation. Now from SourceForge, you would download the zip file command injection OS and after you open it up and extract it, you would actually find the command injection ISO file within it, right? So extract that file. I've already done that and put it on the desktop and then open up VirtualBox and import appliance select the command injection ISO we'll go with the default options I'm going to pause the video while this goes on the import is done and now the very first time you try to run the VM probably going to get a small error in here it says there's some issue with the network settings that's okay the way to resolve that is to select the appropriate settings now I would recommend using a bridged adapter or any other config you want where you can have the attacker machine access this so I'm going to use the bridged adapter and I'm bridging it to my wireless connection And now let me start the application once again. And this should start the VM. Now this is built over Ubuntu desktop. So I think uh, most of this stuff should be very familiar to you. The username is security tube. The password is 123321. There you go. And the password is 123321. Now, within this VM, we are already running the web applications on different ports. Uh, which you would need to explore by yourself and try to exploit. Now the official solutions will also be there, but beyond this, I'm not going to mention anything. You can run Nmap as a scanner, figure out the open ports, probe into the available applications in there and see what you can do. Right? Fantastic. Okay, so that's how you install it and the service is run by default. 
Uh, now I'd like to introduce you to the man who's created this. So this is created by Ashish Bengale from our team. Uh, and he's put in a lot of hard work into this. So any bugs, any issues, appreciation, everything, please send it to his email address so that he can work and fix it. So Ashish. Hi all. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if there is any issue, please contact me on my email. Thanks. Fantastic. So hope you guys enjoy this. And if you're having fun at Pen Tester Academy, then we would really appreciate if you can recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.